Here's another mini installment of Weapons in Art. I was in an antique shop and was checking out this very large antique oil painting, and I liked it because it's kind of a musketeer theme, has all the uh, roguish, rakish, rapscallion type qualities that you'd expect. But most importantly, uh, for this video series, we get to see how the swords are depicted. So here you've got a classic cup hilt rapier, but I like the, uh, the D guard there. And I think it's showing two separate bars, you know, with space in between, but I can't be sure. And remember, this is really up close, so you can see the detail that the artist put in. And that extends even down to the pommel. You can see those lines that it has, like extra decoration. So, there's a longer shot of the man wielding that sword. Well, not wielding that sword. He just has it on him, as does this guy with his. So, different kind of sword here, you can tell. Got the clam guard. And its guard is much more elaborate as well. But what mostly caught my attention here was the uh, the harness, whatever the appropriate term is. But uh, I didn't know that they needed to be that complicated. Or was that just an artistic embellishment? Because there's eight buckles going on there. That's a lot. Anyway, there's the man who owns that sword. And then we'll end with a shot of the entire painting, which I really liked. And the colors are really vibrant. And uh, I don't know if this was by design or not, but notice everything kind of crowds towards the left. So instead of everything being evenly distributed, you kind of sense that, not just with the man coming onto the woman, but everything seems to press in that direction and is more compressed on that side. And to me, anyway, that adds to the sense of confinement regarding her and her predicament. A little composition nerding out there. So anyway, that was it. Thanks.